In this video, I will continue introducing DAX. We'll create some calculated columns and use the relational function. DAX is a functional language. DAX expressions refer to tables and columns, not cells like Excel. So its code is written in a different way. Programming with DAX is less visual than programming with Excel. Each column is prefixed with the name of its tables because DAX works on a data model containing many tables. I will start explaining the calculated columns. In this Power BI file, I have a data model containing several tables. In one of my previous videos, I've created a calculated date table. Let's go there and see it. This is the table. And here I have added the calculated columns there. And I've used the simple DAX expressions and the date functions. So I've created the year, months, and month name columns. But I really did not give the explanations. What are the calculated columns and what is their purpose? A calculated column is a new column added to the table in the data model by writing the DAX expression. And it, that is what I did here. A calculated column is just like any other columns in a table and we can use them in filters of a report. And that is what I did here. I have created a visualization and I've used these months from the calculated columns for the axis to make it visual. A calculated columns are evaluated on a row by row basis. And calculated columns don't appear in the Power Query data because they are created in a data model. Like this date table was completely created in a data model. So if I go to the query editor, this will not be visible here. The same applies to the calculated columns created by DAX expressions. If I add new calculated columns in this main table, sales data, and this data comes from the query, and I add new calculated columns there and I go back to the query, that calculated column will not be in the query So, because this is the part of a data model. Let's go to the data model. In this data model, I have one main table and I have two lookup tables. One is to look up the dates and another gives me some additional details about products like costs and prices. If you want to reference a column from a table that is on a one-to-many relationship with the current table, you need to use the relational function of DAX, that is the function related. And the related can access the one side from many side. And it is the situation in this case. I have this one side relationship and I have this strong relationship and that is related to the many side of the table. And let's see how it works. Let's go to the table. This is the main table. And I will create a new calculated column. Let's click on that. Give it a name, price. And this price is in another table that is related with this main table. So I can pick it up by using the function related. Let's type related and I will only type the name of the column. Let's trigger it with the single quote and price per kilo. This is the one, close parentheses, hit enter. And we have prices integrated in this table now. The same can be done with the costs new column cost related and cost per kilo close parenthesis enter well it worked quite easily by using this related function we picked up data from one side of relationship to the many side of the relationship of the table. Well, a related function has the counterpart, that is the related table. If the expression is on the 
one side of the relationship. So if we want to pick up data from many sides to the one side of the relationship, that in that case, the related table function can be used. That is working in the opposite direction. In that situation, function related will not work uh, as there can be many rows from the many side available for a single row. So if you are taking data from the many side to one side, of course you will have several rows there to take it from many side to one side. And the rel related table, it will return a table containing all the rows related to the current row. So there's the huge difference. So it depends from which side you are picking data and uh, you are putting in, in, the, in the one side of the relationship or many side of the relationship. But in the situations like that, when we want to pick up data from the one side and we want to integrate it in, in the many side of the relationship, you can use the related function and so easily you will integrate data from there in the main table. Well, once I have these two columns integrated here, I can calculate the total revenue. Just use the simple mathematical expression, multiply sales by the unit price, and we will get the revenue. Let's create a new column. Call it revenue. And just a simple mathematical expression. Trigger the columns with the single quote sales multiplied by the price and we have the revenue for this example i've used the calculated column to make to visualize it how to do that and in another video i will show another way how to calculate the total revenue and that is by using measures but for now, let's reduce the numbers here. I don't want so many decimals, so we got the revenue. Let's use this revenue calculated column on the report. On the canvas report view, I have one visualization, the bar chart that uh, shows by month uh, the sales by kilos. Instead of that, I can use the revenue now. Let's remove this one from values and put the revenue there. So in the bar chart, I have now the revenues by months. In another video, I will show how to calculate revenue by using measures.